Well guys, things have progressed that I get to run a planter again. Unfortunately, Brody got something in his eyeball over the weekend. It's been really irritated, so he's got an appointment. Can't make it here until about 11 o'clock this morning. So, I got Dad filled plum full of seed and fertilizer, so you should be good for about two and a half, three hours, maybe more. And I got a little fertilizer on here, and I'm gonna go planting. Between yesterday and today, the diggers will easily have the field cultivators. There you go, there you go. They will easily be 1,000 to 1,100 acres ahead of the planters. So we gotta keep these things moving because tomorrow at noon is kind of what the forecast is looking like for about a half inch of rain and we gotta have it all planted by then. So we gotta keep these things moving. It's tight. I see the dandelions are really having a, a thriving year. Wow. Wow. And just like that, we're going back and forth. And Brody called, he said he's almost here. And this is all I got planted. This, this portion here, Brody did this that stuff later so I did some headlands and I'll get to do like two rounds and then he'll be here which is fine I got I need to load my seat tender up but I am having fun how's, how's your eye? eye better I got one pass I got some headlands and one pass I, I was hoping you had the, all the headlands done no I deliberately I see, just I see did, you stop yeah you know. I deliberately just did what I could do so I could get some rounds in and I also kind of panicked up there and didn't know what to do, so good luck. We'll find out in the fall. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> yes, we will. So what was in your eyeball? Something small. Grass? Clear. I, no, it wasn't grass. It's clear. She said it was so small that she couldn't show me. Wow. Hopefully uh, your eyes aren't dilated, you can see, but I did go around all them highland holes Yeah, for thanks you. for doing that. <laughs> I, I believe she's ready to go for you. How many acres you got in the planter? Uh, you gotta let me know when you're out of seat because we're switching to a 99 day. Well, and you I don't go far away then. No, I gotta go load more seat actually. And it's gonna be a big load. You're gonna get a big load, so you're gonna be really bogged down. Oh, great. Power. Something's not happy. I got out of the seat. All right, have it fun. Smells like skunk too. Yeah, I smell that. He gunned off. Wow. Oh, it feels good to be back in the saddle again. I think it's been like three weeks, it feels like. Um, it was good though. Got to spend some time with the family and the newborn, uh, baby girls. So everything is going good at home, and now it's time to get some farming done. This track is not like hills. I'm pretty loaded up too, so. Come on, old girl, let's go. Well, this field should go quick now. Uh, finally got the headlands on around the whole thing now for sure. So it's back and forth and I got a couple more rounds and then it's mile long rounds. So be really efficient there. And it'll be on to the next one up by the farm. So I think it's going good and working good. And let's keep it that way. really off guard it was gray on top and I got in it and she sunk away I got scared unbelievable Wow take a look at this unbelievable Back rolling again. 
finally. Got all cleaned out. Should be dried up by now. On the gauge wheels all cleaned off. And there's the wet spot. Unbelievable. Water coming out of the side hill. Mm. Good luck, Eric. Don't, hopefully you don't take that pass, because if you take that pass, you might lose the sprayer in that one. Just letting you know. But you won't see this in time. I'll let you know. I'll call you. Well, it's about 3 o'clock, and Chet's been doing what Chet does. Tender, trek fields, move some uh, fertilizer equipment around. Brody does not need fertilizer, but I have got to get this off to get to town. Uh, they aren't going to close for three hours, but I need this because it's just so going to happen to work out that it's seeming like they're both going to need seed and fertilizer at the same time. So I got to keep uh, keep ahead of that problem and get some more fertilizer. And yes, I did hear from Brody about the uh, the plug up on his planter. Set it back about a half hour, he said. He said, you got to quit going through stuff like that, Jet. You set me up. I just laughed. All realisticness, I don't like plugged up planters either, so I do feel bad for you, Brody. Well, it's a nice convenient location right at the end of the driveway. Look at how efficient that guy is. He's in the field and he's already unfolding. You know, back right up to me and take off straight down the field. some gooey stuff yeah I just want to forewarn you what there is another spot out here okay <laughs> where well that ditch that was full of water three days ago that's the wet spot well right up at the bend where it's kind of low in the ditch yeah that was almost water and I went right through it so whatever you do we'll do not off. put your tractor in that part we'll start the field operate <laughs> Right with a plug. Right by the road, too. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm off to get another 500 acres worth of fertilizer, Brody. I'm off, too. Just gonna give her. Going around. You used up all uh, the water out of there when you plugged up? No. <laughs> I did you not. don't look very muddy. I stood back. <laughs> Look at that! A big deer spreader! Wow! Never seen that in the area before. Go up, must have must spent some money. Well, I just got back from town. It takes about an hour and a half to half hour, an hour and driving, half hour to get filled. So I'm back and guess who needed seed? Brody. Dad's in transport to the next field, so I will be uh, heading up to him next. I always close it so you don't hit the wrong thing. All right. You ready to roll, Brody? Thank you. That is for your next field. I may have to get one more box because I did not expect you to run out on this field or at least as much short as you were. You said. Maybe you should check this variety on your worksheet to make sure that it is planted at the same top. Burning everything off again. <laughs> oh, but that's good because all the wood ticks died. 
a few other things too. There, but. you can look at the bright side. Yeah, what's it? Yeah. Can you raise that up? No, she's up all the way. Okay, uh, this is working out good. Why is that slime in my fertilizer tank? You know, I was looking at that too. Well, that will be the rest of the night with plug nozzles in. Let's hope not. Well, what is that? I don't know. I'm going to have to make a phone call. Should it be? Well, you can see it. You can see it is. We have concerns on what I just picked up on why it's never done that before. I called uh, the agronomist and he looked up the order. It's supposed to be the right stuff, but they don't, of course, know why. That's the top producing high yield fertilizer there, I suppose. Slimy stuff, that's the good high bushel. -y. I did right? tell him, I said, well, if it plugs up, are you going to come out here? He kind of laughed and said he would, but I didn't. <laughs> So we'll have experience on not, I've never had the filter even off this planter. We may be better. I we have. Need wrenches? No. This is your last field, 220, so drive fast and take chances. The neighbor's coming, we can't be seen standing around here like that. <laughs> um, I can't remember what I was going to say. The neighbor, I lost my mind. <laughs> the ladies' room's on the other side. What? The ladies' room. Oh, I know. <laughs> the night's really coming coming together, right? Good thing it's going to rain. Oh, it ain't going <laughs> to. That's when it, yeah. It'll be like, oh, it's going to rain. So, talk to the agronomist. We're thinking maybe some soy green got in there. Maybe. I'm not going to say that that's what it was, but gunged up all my filters, so we're rinsing the tank out. You want to tell them what you wrecked? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Mechanical failure. I didn't do it. Fatigue. It's fatigue. The age of the unit. The constant back and forth. <laughs> so this digger came home, Randy's, unfolded to service it, put new shovels on. And uh, this, this here took place where that sheared completely clean. I'm speculating what happened is that key is totally gone. And this roller is also gone, which hits here and rides up to unfold. So I'm thinking when that happened, all that was torquing on just one side of the cylinder. So this head right here, I looked it up, $500. That round roller that's missing in the field somewhere, 115 Nice. Nice. And odds on that part being in stock. Slim to none, but I got the got the after hours kibble guys working on it, so we'll see. Nonetheless, get it ordered. So that's what we're dealing with, which is supposed to be a nice clean product. something I I don't know if this is necessary it's supposed to rain tomorrow well it's supposed to rain today 
So it's almost five. They had a heck of a day planting. I spread dry fertilizer in front of them and then I have them sprayer this evening or yesterday evening and Jordan and I have been spraying all night and I'm on a big half section which is the one they ended on but I still have 350 acres after this half section which I am half done with this so I've got a lot to do and I don't know how late I'm gonna go or how early I'm gonna go however you would say that now at least we're getting some stuff done last time we got rained out a month ago and Jordan and I sprayed till 4 in the morning and it was a dang good thing we did because it stayed wet and cold and miserable for a month and went to really had a fun time trying to get back out there to spray so not calling for nearly as much rain in a couple hours, it still might rain. Oh! Randy Nessman, master pipe layer, just mentioned me in a story. He is, uh, I don't know if you guys can see, he's that light off in the distance. Yeah, he, he's over there planting. So, at least I'm not the only crazy one out here. I just did the uh, last tank fill for this half section and the truck is going to the next field so I guess I am following him. And um, the sun is going to rise in like 40 minutes. It's getting brighter out. It's tomorrow. It's the next day. We're still spraying. That tractor hasn't shut off for 14 hours, which is kind of, I guess that's kind of normal, but it was just a different 14 hours on the clock for it. And I'm at our field that has the lift pump. And I was watching it as I was spraying and it's not shutting off. So the float is stuck in the on position. So I'm gonna try to fix that. Okay. It shut off. I had to wiggle it a little bit. The little yellow float was stuck. So there's actually not a ton of water coming in and out of it right now. I suppose until it gets stuck again, I'll just let it do its thing. Cover it up. That should make the problem go away. You, you guys are going to have to you're also going to have to go away because I need two hands. The rain has, has showed up. And I've got one more field to do. It's our furthest west one. And I talked to Chet. And I'm like, I'm getting rained on. Which, pre-emerge for those that don't know, it, it doesn't get washed off by rain. It actually needs rain to get activated. So... The rain is fine for spraying, unless it's going to keep raining and get muddy, but I'm a few miles from the field. Jordan is waiting there with a pizza, breakfast pizza from Casey's. We're going to try to knock this last one out, and then we are caught up to what the planters did yesterday. Okay, the pizza was delicious. We got enough rain to uh, kind of knock the dust down. And throw some mud off the tracks, but spraying still working fine. So I've got not much left in this field. And I don't know. We'll see. See what I get into next. Might be a pillow. 